17 seasons means 17 signature shoes for LeBron James. Let's take a closer look at the latest Nike LeBron signature shoe. What's going on guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at the Nike LeBron 17. Uh, before we do that, just please do us a quick favor, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and let's get moving. So here we have the black and white pair and it's in adult sizes. And here's the Lakers pair in kid sizes. And we'll show you a comparison of the sizes a little bit later, but let's just go over the basics. The official release date for the black and white pair is October 3rd, releasing at all stores and will be available in adults, kids, and toddler sizes. Prices are 200 for adults, 160 for kids, and 95 uh, for preschool. And again, the Lakers pair drops on October 10th. So we'll revisit that later. Let's just take a closer look at this black and white pair. So again, 17 shoes, 17 seasons. That's a pretty incredible number. And that's not even counting all the soldiers and all the Zoom witnesses and all the other LeBron shoes that uh, have come out. So LeBron really has more than 50 shoes to his name. It's pretty incredible and only a guy like LeBron can really command that number of signature shoes. But today we're focusing on the signature game shoe. Again, the 17 designed by Jason Petrie, who's been designing the LeBron since 2009 with the LeBron 7. And there's a lot of new details that we'd like to show you. There's a lot of things that are consistent with previous releases because things sort of move in succession and you can see like an evolutionary process in the design. So let's focus more on the more obvious things, starting off with this Air Max. So Air Max on LeBron's have been a pretty consistent thing since the LeBron 7. Here we have a 720 Max Air uh, inspired bag, super high volume, the tallest Air Max bag that's ever been used in a Nike basketball shoe. This support is really good for a guy like LeBron who is, you know, again, it's been said many, many times, he's, you know, heavier than the average small forward. And that explains the zoom bag that's at the forefoot. And you can see just the way the traction is laid out. You can see where the cushioning really lies. But here you have the 720 Max airbag and you have the zoom pods at the forefoot. And there's a little bit of a visible touch um, right there at that forefoot again. Visible air has been like a consistent thing with LeBron's for quite a while, as has Flyknit. This is a different type of Flyknit that was engineered specifically for LeBron and for the game of basketball because you just can't be going out there with like a sock-like upper. Uh, the fly net here is definitely um, fortified to withstand all those movements and even getting your foot stepped on. And it's officially called knit posit, which is uh, pretty interesting. So basically it's a blend of a knit material and posit, which is like a firmer, harder material that is sort of blended in with the knit. So it creates like this harder sort of knit that acts as protection. As you guys know, uh, fly net's been part of the LeBron series since the 15th, so that's only two models ago, and they're constantly changing things around. If you look closer on the knit upper, you know, there's a, almost like a dinosaur sort of scaly kind of cobblestone sort of pattern to it. It's a little bit ununiform, which kind of gives it a little bit of character. And if you look a little closely, the threads aren't exactly uniform as well. They're very wavy and almost like smoky, which is kind of interesting. To the touch, there's uh, this very, very thin sort of hardened layer that's above the actual knit. The shoe really isn't like a sock-like shoe because if you look inside, there's actually a thick interior sort of uh, a structure to it. So definitely a protective layer inside so your foot is not just directly on like this knit sort of material. But on the forefoot, there's less of that sort of structure. There's a little more lightweight breathability to it. As you can see, you know, we can easily just kind of uh, squash down with my thumb. Again, it's just a pairing of a knit upper with Max Air that's been working for LeBron since the 15. And so basically what really changes is not only the volume of the air, but where it's placed, but also the, the way the fly knit is engineered. You just can't have any sock like shoe out there on the court, you know, and it needs to be protective. The reverse swoosh again has been a standard with Nike LeBrons for quite a while. If anything, it's been like a LeBron thing. Another thing that's been consistent with LeBrons is the forefoot swoosh, but you clearly don't see one here, but there might be room for that in the future. Um, on the medial side, you could definitely see more of the wavy nature of these threads and there is like a hard like like plastic layer above that. The heel cap as well extends above the Max Air unit, so it acts as a heel counter. Uh, the forefoot is encased in a white foam, and inside that is, again, that zoom airbag. You can even see the fibers inside there. So again, it's a Max Air on the heel, zoom air the forefoot in, four, in two key zones. Uh, this new knit posit on the upper. In terms of detailing, the tongue is where everything kind of lands. It's sort of a what the style of all the logos and details that's been on LeBron in the past. Here we have the LeBron crest logo with his signature. 
You have six, which is from the LeBron six in that uh, signature script. The, the L23 logo that came out in his rookie year. The Dunk Man. On this side, you have the, uh, the, uh, the anatomical man from the LeBron 12. You have the I'm King from the LeBron 16. You have the LBJ ACG inspired logo from the LeBron watch series. So the tongue is kind of like a tribute to the entire signature line. Um, it's a nice little touch on that. Of course, uh, it's not like a knit, it's a nice kind of pebbled leather. So that's basically the black white pair that drops October 3rd for 200 bucks in adult sizes. So here we have the Lakers pair. These drop on October 10th, again in adult kids in uh, preschool sizes for $200, $160, and $95. The only difference is here is that the knit is now a different color and the base black is not like that cookies and cream, but it's just a pure flat black. Again, you see that's the same visible air unit on the heel. The kids pair even has a visible zoom on the lateral side and again on the medial side but you can see that the the visible area is much smaller on the kids pair just to show you compared to the adult it just extends out much further versus the kids pair and the tongues on these are a little bit different from that black white pair it just has that classic lebron lions crest logo the lebron crown logo and that's pretty much it you know there's a solid white outsole and again, you can see a better look at that traction pattern. This is built for a lot of lateral movement, as you can see, uh, because, you know, LeBron pretty much plays in a 360 degree direction. And one of the more interesting pieces is this exposed stitching that connects the forefoot part of the knit with the knit posit at the heel. They did their best to keep the kids' dimensions as similar to the adult, but there's some obvious differences in the size of the Max Air bag and things like that. Again, if you see, just how different the size is. So it's pretty crazy that it's only a $40 difference. So $160 for a kid's basketball shoe is, it's quite a lot. Another thing to note is the shoe box. Here's the LeBron 17 shoe box. It has this wild sort of font to it. And the adult pair has a metallic gold finish, whereas the kid's pair, it's more of a matte gold. So that's another little difference that I uh, should just keep in mind. That's pretty much it. That's a LeBron 17. You know, we're very uh, pleased by the shoe. We can't wait to see what other colorways are coming. So far, the future air dropped back in September. These are October 3rd, Lakers on October 10th, but there's much more coming throughout the NBA season. So again, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you learned something from this. Again, just do us a quick favor, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next one.